on my face sorry my neighbors walking and then they always look into my window and they just i don't think it's been a year now but they still look at me weird when they see me talking to the camera what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel happy friday so today i am going to sit down and film instead of vlog which was my last video i think um, that is if I actually upload it. Anyway, welcome to another video you guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current favorites. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current favorite things. I have skincare, hair, makeup, and fitness, food, not really fitness. Yeah, I don't know. I just got a mixture of things here, you know. And yeah just the things uh, so these are just my favorites lately i think for the past two or three months things that i have been obsessed with and using forever and i'm going to share it with you guys today i haven't sat down and done a <clears throat> a uh, camera kind of video like this in a while i think the last one was by work makeup but that's about it so let's get on <laughs> with this video so to start off i think i'm gonna start off with skincare first so my favorite skincare brand for the past i think since january february march since march i have been using lumina therapy so lumina therapy is a new local brand if you guys don't know about it i will link the videos down below i pop it up here on uh, on the top i never know which side it is pop it up on the top uh lumina therapy is actually my aunt my auntie's brand she is freaking awesome <laughs> and she came up with her own skincare range which is amazing i've left body shop i've left all this fancy stuff and i've been on lumina forever now okay not forever i've been on lumina since march and my skin is completely different i have not broke out in acne since march since it all cleared up i have not broke out again so my current favorites is lumina therapy this is the charcoal activated charcoal cleanser with licorice fruits and vitamin c and then i have the facial toner so the cleanser i really really love i think i, I have been said this before but bleh, focus this camera is not gonna focus today okay so the camera doesn't want to focus but um i love this cleanser because it is so subtle on your skin it doesn't have a very strong perfume it doesn't sting your skin it doesn't feel like it's just like ripping your skin off all of its oils it basically just deep cleans your pores because of the activated charcoal it gets into those little grits and areas that normal cleansers usually wouldn't and the toner i love because it's a it's a spray it smells so good it's well it's honey bush yeah okay it's honey bush um the, what i love about this toner is that one the sprays but the best part about it is that it does not burn your eye area I know a lot of toners have a very high alcohol content so it burns your sensitive skin this does not do that it actually cools your skin down the other thing that i'm obsessed with with lumina therapy is the brightening facial scrub this scrub since i started using it i have not used another scrub ever now i'm not being biased or anything this isn't sponsored um, I'm just really proud of my aunt for putting this together because she's worked on this for a very very long time and the fact that she finally put it out this year and I got to try these products out firsthand and um, honest opinion it is amazing the thing about this facial scrub is that I noticed with a lot of other scrubs I either feel like I have to apply pressure while scrubbing my skin or I feel like like the ones that have those bees in like the Neutrogena for example it's nice but it feels more like a facial wash than an actual scrub what I really really like about it is that you don't apply a lot of pressure it has these tiny little granules if you can see I'm sure you, there you can see it a little bit there it has these tiny little granules that you don't apply a lot of pressure you literally just rub your skin like very lightly and it exfoliates the crap out of your skin but it doesn't exfoliate to a point where your skin feels raw and damaged afterwards it just has a nice clean feeling next i'm going to move on to hair so for my hair i have i've been using this for years now actually but this particular 
fragrance has been my favorite. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Coconut and Exotic Tropical. This is my favorite and this is my fourth can of this. Can, bottle, I don't know. So this is my fourth one. I've restocked it so many times. And it's the only fragrance that I use now in my hair. I just love anything that smells like coconut. So I even just spray it in my hair so my hair can smell like coconut. It smells good. Dry shampoo is something that I cannot go a day without. Even when my hair doesn't need it, I'm putting dry shampoo in my hair. Because I will wash my hair and within a few hours it looks like I slipped fell and my hair went in a bucket of coconut oil. That's how oily my hair gets. I don't know why, it's just how it is. So dry shampoo. <laughs> so dry shampoo is my favorite every day. And also this dry shampoo in particular adds a lot of volume to your hair. Next thing for my hair is this cleansing hair scrub. So this is from the body shop, the Fuji Green Tea. I think it's Fuji. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. Fuji Green Tea Refreshing Repurifying Purifying Cleansing Hair Scrub. So, so this has lasted me quite a while because you don't need a lot of this for your scalp. And it smells so good. It smells very clean. It's got a bit of a menthol feel when you rub it in. So as I said, my hair is very oily. What I find helps with my oily hair is using this hair scrub. So every once a week or twice a week, actually just once a week because I wash my hair twice a week. So no, I actually wash my hair once a week, let me be honest. <laughs> um, so every now and then I use this. It lathers into a shampoo as well. So I take a bit and put it on my scalp and I scrub my scalp. And then I go in with shampoo after that because it doesn't make your hair the softest, I won't lie. So I go in with my normal shampoo afterwards. But what this does is basically, even though you're washing your hair, there's still a lot of product buildup at the roots, which the shampoo doesn't necessarily take out, which is why your hair might be getting oily so quickly. Um, so when you scrub your hair, you're actually basically exfoliating your scalp and removing all of the uh, excess product and dry skin, etc., etc., from your scalp. So it's helped with my with it's so it's helped with dandruff a lot as well and dry scalp. Um, but yeah, so this. If you have oily hair, just trust me, go pick this up and try it. Okay. So that is all for skincare and hair care. I'm going to move on to makeup now. I feel like this video is a bit long. It's like 20 minutes now already. Okay, so uh, for makeup, my favorite lip products has been. This is the Essence New Range. The Essence This Is Me Range. And this is in the color Fabulous. Now, I have two because this one's almost finished. And I went to go pick up another one because I wasn't sure if this range was going to be like a limited thing or if it was going to stick around forever. So this is the new one. So I'll show you the new one because I love how lipsticks looks when it's new. So this is in the color 15 Fabulous. I'm wearing this color now and it has been the only lipstick that I have been wearing for a very, very, very long time. Uh, I think maybe a month and a half now. It's not that long, but for me it feels long. So it's a bit of a nudish pink. It looks very different on your lips. I also guess it depends on your skin tone because lipsticks obviously look very different on different skin tones. Phone is ringing. Hi. What's up YouTube fam? <laughs> I'm in the lounge YouTube fam. Yeah, he's literally, I'm coming now. I'm almost done filming. Anyway, so yeah, that has been my favorite lipstick lately and the only lipstick that I have been wearing. I went and I picked up new shoes. So, new shoes. These are the Adidas. I have no idea what they are called shoes. All I know is that they are comfortable and I use them for training. I mainly use them on leg days. I'm still in love with my Nike runners when it comes to running. But um, these have been my favorite shoes when it comes to training. I don't even know if they're for training or if they're runners, but they just really comfortable okay all right now last but not least what I have done is I started using a bullet journal so I started using a bullet journal this one I picked up from typo now I started using a bullet journal like I've said just now because 
I couldn't fit everything into a normal planner because I am now working full time, I am studying part time, and I'm working on my blog and YouTube a lot. I needed something where I could put everything into one book to carry it around with me all the time, and I have gone back to bullet journaling. And that is all my current favorites right now. I feel like I rambled on a lot in this video. Thank you for putting up with me and thank you for watching you guys. If you guys did enjoy, obviously, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And go ahead and check out all my last videos. Definitely go check out my Lumina therapy uh, videos and vlogs, etc. And yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you for coming. If you're new to Hinky Pinks, thank you so much for watching and staying here and listening to me go on about pointless things in life. That's what this channel is about, basically. Okay, so I hope you guys have an amazing week ahead and thank you so much for sticking around and see you in my next video. Adios, amigos. <laughs>